rooftop of the Chabad House of Mumbai, also known as Nariman House. With me is Moshe Holzberg, whose brother Gavriel and Rivka were murdered eight years ago. Uh, next week is the anniversary, uh, November 2008. Just moments ago, the President of Israel, Reuven Rivlin, unveiled a plaque commem commemorating that terrible tragedy and the loss of life of uh, Moshe's brother and sister-in-law. And Moshe met the President of Israel and uh, what did he say to you? Basically, he was making a Yerushalmi joke that he's from Yerushalayim and my father's from Yerushalayim. But no, no, nothing much. He's like, yeah, they're, they're going to continue and uh, their legacy and things like that. And uh, it's very nice that we're going to continue. And, uh, oh, did you have the opportunity to speak to him and to be you know, momentarily get some comfort from him? And you were describing to me what it was like on the day. So. The anti-terror police, the Indian police, came here by a helicopter and they were pelled down onto the river. Is that what happened? About 15 of them? And then they had to, they, they started, because from up here you could look around. This is, see so much of Mumbai. This is an incredible view. Not only that, but from the other side, right there, see, see where the light is? Where that dome kind of? That's the Taj, where the attack happened, the other attack. Oh, that's the Taj Hotel. Yeah. Okay, right. And you could even see pro probably the trident is right at, like, the other side. And, okay, so they, the police landed here. And then the shootout went on for what, like 24 hours? It was seen for like 24 hours? It started like, there was a few times. They that came there was in on shootout, Wednesday night, shootouts. Right? There was even commandos in this building. You could see a picture. There was a picture of like a commando shooting from here. To, but they were literally doing like a hit or miss situation. Right. Um, and, and then they, they started won. the assault, I think, Friday. It lasted a nice amount of hours. They, they, besides coming here, they also broke down the wall in the entrance. Uh, uh, coming from the, from the front entrance. So they came that from the top and from the bottom. Part, all the way to the staircase was rubble because they, they broke down that wall too. It seems incredible that two terrorists could have held off an entire police a little army over that period. I mean, most of the mess is actually from the Indian forces. You, you, like you, you see, you said they fired 7,000. 70,000 shots 000. total fired. 70,000 bullets fired. But by the time... The, the floors that are repaired had damage, not as bad as the fourth one, but like as the fifth one. So, and even worse in some cases. But by the time the police started their siege, the hostages had all been murdered, essentially. Uh, so most of them, probably. The we woman, who, and the woman who saved your nephew, Moishi, Sandra, yes. where is she today? She's right now in Israel. She, she, she was got Israeli, citizenship? Yeah, she got Israeli Amazing. citizenship. She's and an she, Indian woman. Yeah. And she she, all, she almost started fasting for Yom Kippur. She's literally, she really loves... So Israel gave her honor, they made her a citizen. That's yeah. remarkable. And she, Does right, she stay in touch with the family? Sure, she comes uh, every once a week or, or a month. She goes to Shabbos to go visit Maishi. Speaks to her in English. He makes fun of her English. Oh, that's amazing. And uh, she's actually working today in the same institution where Gabi's uh, two older kids who passed away from genetic disorder. So she's actually working at that institution now. So it's like a circle of. Like, oh, incredible. Yeah. Okay, Moishi, well, it's really amazing. To, you and I see something in New York all the time. It's amazing to actually be here. This, this is uh, history. I would never think you'd be here one well, day. I'd be sitting with you over here. With the President of Israel under these circumstances.